Caddis Maximus here again, this time with the Fluke 87 version 3, uh, which are probably one of the most popular of the Fluke 87 series. Um, they're all like the same multimeter, but different generations. They'll say 87.2 or 87.4 or 87.5. Uh, these are really the standard and reliable and industrial uh, multimeters. The Fluke 87 does pretty much all the functions you need, including more advanced stuff like relative deltas and, and high resolution. You can see the decimal point there. And it has a four and a half digit mode. So now we have a whole nother digit and we get high resolution like bench level. So instead of the same th standard three and a half digits, uh, you can get a little extra resolution. So it's really nice if you're using it for electronics testing. Of course, it does milliamps and microamps, AC and DC, capacitance, uh, has diode test function, um, you know, uh, continuity and alarm. Uh, I have little caps. It has rated for 10 amps. Uh, it does use 9 volt batteries and it does tend to suck them down to tell you the truth. Whenever you're in, in one of these modes with the blue colors, you just would hit the blue button. Otherwise, there has a nice thick heavy duty boot, um, and these are American made. And so this was a general just quick review and overview and recommendation that if you're really looking for a professional grade true RMS multimeter, and true RMS means that it uh, performs a mathematical calculation, um, a root mean square versus uh, just averaging it out. So what if you have non-sinusoidal, you know, non-smooth waveforms, it still will accurately put out what the, the voltage really is. And that can throw off averaging meters really quickly. Those are usually only tuned between 60 hertz and 400 hertz. Well, this will go up to several kilohertz and remain active. It has a nice quick response, um, if we can see here, bar. And so that's if you're, like in an automotive application on old computerized cars, you used to just have to measure these pulse codes for the error message. And that's hard on a digital multimeter to see the numbers go up and down as it switch auto switches between ranges. But you can see the the bar go back and forth really fast, kind of like a traditional analog meter. Um, other than that, uh, it's really well built. And uh, it's really just a standard. So thanks for watching. Um, please subscribe. And uh, Caddis Maximus out.